Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna take another look at the Pro Media Gears TR344L Pro Series carbon fiber tripod and a brand new extension tube they just released. So let's jump in and check it out. So about 10 months ago or so, I did a review on the Pro Media, Media Gear uh, TR344L tripod. It's a carbon fiber tripod. I'll put the link up here. I've been using this thing uh, everywhere I go. I take it with me. It's super light. It's super durable and portable um, for the size that you can get out of it. Um, just recently, I got an email from Pro Media Gear uh, announcing the release of their new carbon fiber center column. As you may or may not know, the uh, Apex, the TR344L, uh, the has it comes is an apex. It's a modular apex, so you can take the centers out and do different things with them, such as a half ball leveling head, or now a center column. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, a lot of people are trying either trying to get away from center columns um, or just not using them at all now with the with an apex. But the cool thing about uh, the Pro Media Gear because it's module, you have that option to go with now with a center um, column uh, and you've always had the option for a leveling ball. So I just thought I'd want to I want to talk more about it and uh, I thought we could zoom in on the apex here and get a close-up. Uh, I can show you how good the construction is and talk a little more about the uh, center column. So let's go ahead and zoom on in. Uh, so as I said, the, uh, this Apex is a modular design. Um, they have a step up from this that allows you to clamp uh, in different um, modules. Uh, but this is their uh, less expensive version, and it's simply um, put in with these six screws. Um, but I've taken them out for this video purpose. So this just simply lifts out. And, and you'll see what a tight fit that is. It's like a, a puzzle piece. It is, the, the tolerances uh, with this are just amazing. The machining is epic. Uh, this hook is a solid piece of aluminum. Look at the size of this. It's as big around as my finger. It's the, you can just see the quality of the machining in this flathead. So anyways, um, in this um, part of the video, I'm gonna just show you the the uh, leveling ball head, or leveling ball, they, they call it a half ball leveling head. Um, and again, you see that it just drops in there and then you would just put your six screws in these holes here. And, and it has this uh, nice little twist lock allowing you to move the uh, leveling ball around. And I think I can demonstrate that now, yeah. If I had the screws in here, um, this, it takes too long to put the screws in, so I'm not gonna show you putting the screws in and out of this Apex, but um, the, the whole construction of this as well is uh, a, a aluminum. Just the machining, the fit and, and finish is just beautiful on Pro Media Gear's products. Uh, well worth, in my opinion, well worth the price. All right, so let's move to the, uh, the new center column. So to really give you a bird's eye view of the center column, the, the new carbon fiber 15 inch center column, I, I had to reposition the tripod in such a way to show you, but um, uh, wait till you see this thing. It's just awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and, the center column comes pre-assembled, ready to go and you pretty much just drop it into place just like that. It, isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? There's a giant wing nut on the top that uh, locks and unlocks the slideability of the carbon fiber center column. The center column has a groove uh, here to keep it from um, twisting on you. I did notice that it takes uh, quite a bit of pressure to, to really lock down that wing nut to get a good sturdy stability on that um, on that center column. Also notice the same single um, piece of aluminum machined for that hook. 
they, uh, there's a few extra bonuses that they really thought of when they made this, such as a rubber O-ring grooved into the top so that when you lower, so that when you lower this, it doesn't bang metal to metal. There's a nice little rubber O-ring up here that's, that when you drop it down, you're not banging this beautiful machined aluminum against this beautiful machined aluminum here. Um, same thing with the bottom. When you have this center tube uh, in your tripod and you collapse your legs down, uh, fold your legs in around the center column for carrying purposes. They, they, they thought of putting rubber right here so it doesn't scratch your legs when you collapse them. Just, uh, just you know, uh, Pro Media Gear is an awesome uh, company. And if more, of, and, and right here in the USA, by the way, and if more companies would take a lead from Pro Media Gear, we would really have some beautiful um, aftermarket accessories for this industry. Also, in my previous review on the Pro Media Gear carbon fiber tripod, I was getting a lot of uh, comments in the um, comment section about the feet, about how they put their spikes conveniently on the back side of the feet. And some people were saying, well, sand and dirt's going to get on the on the uh, up other part and, and mess up with the threads. But, but as you can see, it's almost flush. Now, I've been using this in sand and dirt and grass and everywhere else over the past um, 10 or 11 months, this tripod. And I can attest and tell you that, um, that it's, you simply just blow it out or wash them out if, if a little dirt or dust does get in there. But um, uh, they put a rubber grommet, a rubber O-ring to seal when you uh, either have the spikes out on the legs or when you have the spikes hidden within the legs and you tighten them up, there is no dirt or water or anything that can get inside there. So I just wanted to bring that point up as well about the Pro Media Gear advantage. So I want to finish up by telling you that I am not sponsored by Pro Media Gear. Um, they, they did not send me anything for free. I purchased every bit of uh, equipment. I purchased all my equipment with my own money. Uh, some of this money I made uh, doing the photography that I do. Anyways, um, I'm such a fanboy of the Pro Media Gear tripods because they're so modular and, and, and very light and strong. Uh, all these um, cool modules now that you can put in the half ball leveling, the, um, the, the center column, uh, the fact that you can store the spikes in the feet instead of having to carry them in a separate bag. Uh, I chose the large, the super, well, not the biggest one. They make one bigger than this. Um, I had to tilt the camera up a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but so the apex on this one, this is the 33rd, uh, excuse me, TR, TC, TR 30, 344L. There's so many numbers that you got to remember. Um, and it's 71 inches tall at the apex, which is how I have it right now. And then the center column is another 15 inches. So I'm, I'm sure it goes off camera right there, but uh, another 15 inches tall. Why would you need that? Well, if you're, if you're on a hill, if you're in some rocks, some big boulders, you're trying to get that, that epic shot, uh, that bucket list shot, uh, and you just need that. Um, another uh, reason somebody would want a center column would be for um, uh, interior photography where you do need to get extra tall, extra height. Uh, nowadays you can uh, control your camera from an app on your cell phone. So you can put this camera uh, six, eight feet in the air and take a shot. Uh, um, what comes to my mind would be uh, if you're a photographer for home sales, if you're doing uh, home listing photography, for real estate companies, that's what I was trying to say, uh, then that, that, that height would give you an advantage over other photographers um, that would have to bring a stool or a, a ladder to get the picture. Uh, here you can do it right from a tripod. So uh, 
I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, again, I'm not a I'm not a fanboy, or maybe I am a fanboy. Pro Midi gear to me um, reeks of quality and craftsmanship, and made in the USA. And I'm all about supporting uh, companies from the United States whenever I can, and I hope you are too. So make sure you hit the bell button, hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the down button if you didn't like the video. Leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you think this is just crazy ridiculous and nobody should spend this type of money on a tripod? Or do you agree that you get what you pay for? So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.